Detroit taking a unique approach for luring Amazon's second headquarters to the Motor City. Detroit suffered picking up some prime advertising space Saturday during the nationally televised Uni University of Michigan versus Michigan State football game. Both head coaches donning headsets with the hashtag Amazon Detroit logo on the side. Quicken Loans did sign on as a headset sponsor for the game. Of course, Quicken's chairman, Dan Gilbert, frequent guest on Squawk Box, also among Detroit's largest real estate owners, and of course, probably the leading voice to uh, turn around Detroit and lure Amazon to that city. It's fascinating competition going on, Sarah, between all of these cities. And of course, the question we haven't fully gotten answered yet is why do they need a second headquarters? Why does Amazon need Yes. It? No, but the cities are just vying for the jobs and the ripple economic effects that are going to come from no it. No doubt. Vitally important. You can see what Amazon has meant to Seattle and downtown Seattle. It's not been a suburban complex. It's right there in the middle of the city, and it's led to enormous development overall. But I, I still do wonder. They're talking $5 billion, uh, and I don't know of any other company that has two separate headquarters. I mean, I guess some of these Anglo-Dutch companies, like a Unilever. Mm, yeah. But it's interesting, uh, and it'll be interesting to see how they operate. Well, Amazon's going like crazy, and they've got their business of AWS and retail and warehouses popping up everywhere. Midwest seems to be sort of front runners, although a lot of Canadian cities are vying for it too because they left it open in North America. I know the mayor of Cincinnati is trying, trying to lure Amazon. That's nah, not going to happen. Why? It's just not. It's too small. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.